Hello everyone for my people welcomes you all busy people to yet another learning video in this video we will learn about the arvindo pharma unit 9483 observations so as you might be aware of the fact that couple of weeks back us fda has issued form for 83 to arvindo pharma in the month of november 2022 and i hope those who are working in the us fda approved plants they might be aware of this So well friends Hyderabad facility of the Arvindo Pharma was inspected by US FDA in the month of November from 10th of November to 18th of November 2022 It was almost 7 days audit if you exclude Saturdays and Sundays So there were two auditors who conducted the audit and their names were Arsen Kriptin and Lata Matthew So guys these two auditors has given total 10 number of observations So before we understand all these observations let me tell you one thing that uh, Lata Matthew is expert in QC functions If you will go through this form 483 then you will come to know that out of 10 observations seven observations are related to the QC functions only So with this note let's get started with today's video Observation number 1 and the title of the observation number 1 is out of specification and the complaint investigations for API and the intermediate products were deficient So under this observation auditor stated that the investigations initiated and performed by your quality control unit related to the out of specification results laboratory incidents and market complaints were not scientifically sound and comprehensive with respect to the root cause determination So under this observation auditor has given total 6 examples so let us see one such example Well friends auditors reviewed an OS investigation report so here you can see the OS number which they have reviewed So this OOS was initiated on 26th of September 2021. So there was a failure observed in the related substances test for the 12th month long term stability sample. So a particular impurity was failing and the root cause for the failure was concluded as a revision of the specification with the inclusion of a particular impurity for which OOS was observed. So according to the investigation report impurity for which OOS was observed was not in the previous specification. Along with this auditors found that as part of the investigation batch record review and the quality review of the input materials was not done and the reason for this was given as OOS observed during the stability study so as per investigation report there were no similar failures in the past 12 months however auditors reviewed the stability data of the long term and the accelerated conditions and they observed that the earlier intervals were also failed to meet the revised specification criteria now auditors interacted with the quality team and the quality team stated that they have used reprocessed input materials during the batch manufacturing and that might have led to the failure of the particular impurity finally auditors stated that the overall investigation is deficient and the root cause concluded is inadequate Observation number 2 process validation is deficient so under this observation auditors reviewed the process validation report and they observed that the process was validated to execute the usage of the reprocessed materials during the batch manufacturing so when these batches were loaded for the stability studies then failures were observed in the related substances test which indicates that the reprocessed materials should not be used during the batch manufacturing however multiple batches were sent to the us market where reprocessed materials were used during the batch manufacturing observation number 3 analytical test method validations and the cleaning analytical method validations were not done appropriately so under this observation auditors verified the analytical method validation of the rs test and they found that the filter validation study was not done during the analytical method validation So well friends filter validation study is usually performed during the analytical method validation to demonstrate whether the filtration have any effect on the analysis results or not So further based on the filter validation study it is decided that which type of the filter to be used during the analysis and how much sample we need to discard during the filtration So all these factors or all these things are checked during the filter validation study but auditors found that filter validation study was not performed during the analytical method validation observation number 4 the written procedures for cleaning and the maintenance of the equipment validation was deficient so under this observation auditors verified the cleaning validation sop zqa045 and they found that the cleaned equipment hold time was not established as per sop 
along with this Reuters also stated that as per SOP ZQA045 type 3 cleaning shall be performed when batches are manufactured in the campaign but firm has not established the length of the campaign batches like after how many batches or after how many campaign batches type 3 cleaning shall be done that thing firm has not established observation number five established laboratory control mechanisms were not adequate so under this observation auditors observed that while performing chromatographic purity test by gc system precision was not performed Therefore, there is no assurance that the obtained results are accurate or not. Auditors found that there is no provisions for the verifying percentage RSD requirements to assure system precision. Observation number 6. The responsibilities and the procedures applicable to quality control unit were not in writing and fully followed. Well friends, during the chromatographic data review in Empower 3 software, auditors observed that the file naming was not done as per the SOP. Along with this, uh, during the walkthrough of the quality control laboratory, auditors observed one of the analysts was using unauthorized formats. Therefore, auditors specifically mentioned that the quality assurance unit lacks the adequate controls over the issuance and the approvals of the standard operating procedures. Observation number 7. Storage of the key starting materials and the intermediates were not adequate. So guys, during the walkthrough of the warehouse, auditors observed that the written locations of the key starting materials and the intermediate materials were not matching with the physical locations. Along with this, auditors also found that there were so many deviations initiated related to the wrong material uses during the batch manufacturing, which indicates that there is a lack of the control in receiving, storage and issuance of the materials. Observation number 8. Materials and the intermediates were not evaluated at appropriate intervals with respect to retest dates. So under this observation, auditors found that some of the key starting materials were not retested and expired materials were used in the batch manufacturing. Ideally speaking, any material which is to be used for the batch manufacturing should be within its retest date. Observation number 9. Schedules and the procedures of preventive maintenance of the equipments were not adequate. Well friends, auditors observed that there were multiple deviations logged for the missing of the preventive maintenance schedule of the equipments in quality control and production department. So because of this reason, auditors stated that uh, schedules and the procedures of preventive maintenance of the equipments were not adequate. Now comes the observation number 10 and the title of the observation number 10 is Computer systems used for the testing of the drug substances were not of appropriate design to facilitate operations for its intended use. So well friends, under this observation, auditors verified the qualification documents of Empower 3 software and they found that the qualification document was not demonstrating that what can be the different instances which may lead to the injection interruptions. Along with this, auditors also verified the TMO software qualification documents and they observed that during the TMO software qualification, different circumstances which can lead to the connectivity errors, that is start test errors were not assessed. Now the question here is that why auditors said like this? So guys, auditors has verified the audit trial log for the TMO software and they observed that there were multiple cases of the connectivity related errors during the start of the sample, standard and calibration titrations. So guys, these were the 10 observations which were issued by USFDA to Arvindo Pharma Unit 9. So whatever example mentioned in the Form 483, we have understood few of them. If you want more details about these observations, then you can check the link given in the description or you can visit the USFDA website to download the Form 483. So this is it for today. Hope you have learned something new today. Bye-bye and happy learning.